Hey there, YouTubers. How's everyone doing? Anyways, I did an upgrade to a lathe. This is a uh, 7 seven by 14 mini lathe. And uh, I want to make bigger pins on the uh, the lathe here. Doing bigger stuff. And it's, it's very capable of doing what you want to do, right? But I had this small little dinky little uh, chuck. I mean, it's good for some things, but... If I do like uh, three quarter or one inch pins, you can't do it because they go in these chucks here, but it won't go through. So what happens is the shaft will tend to wobble on you, and that's no good. So this is a three inch, and I went to four inch. Big difference because the bore on the inside is uh, one inch. This is only three uh, half inch, I guess it is. Um, so what you have to do is I'll probably add a link in the description uh, I got this from Amazon I'll show this I'll put a link in the description where you can find this chuck if you want to get one for your for your mini lathe if you have one and you need a spacer plate and I looked and looked and I found one that came from Aliexpress so it has to be the right dimensions and I'll show you that in the description here it'd be very helpful if you have a, a lathe just like this one now this is a 7x14 um, this is the Sumor lathe. Um, now they've chained out to Vector, Vicker, and uh, it's dental the same thing. So, but um, yeah, very good upgrade. Definitely got way more capacity with a bigger, bigger chuck to do other projects. Uh, the other thing I did is I went to. Get the lead on here. Sorry about that. I did also got uh, new uh, lathe bits. Now these are replacement. Uh, replacement um, teeth on here uh, just trying it out but I, I want the bigger uh, the bigger chuck uh, bigger uh, cutting tool I had a really small quarter inch and with this application here the quarter inch uh, is a bit of a pain in the ass so yeah um, eventually I want to change out this setup here and set up this tool set up here and put a different tool on it but it works so I can't really complain too much. So yeah, so it does everything. It does every this little lathe does everything I want to do with it. So um, actually, I haven't even started up yet <laughs> since I put the uh, new chuck in there. See, let's try it out. Hope we don't get too much wobble. Speed. There's a bit of a wobble to it. So anyways, yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't wobble. It may wobble a little bit, I'm not too sure here, but I got everything in there properly. So there's set screws. You get a little eighth inch screws here and there's a quarter inch in here the adapter so but yeah it's a big it's not it's not a huge um upgrade but it does help if you're doing 
pins that are for your machine or whatever you're doing uh, going from three quarter to one inch which you now have the capacity with this chuck and I think for this application this chuck is the biggest you want to go four inches the biggest for this, for this application so you can see what it is right there but uh, yeah so it's a really good I mean like I said for what I do it's good enough I mean this lathe is capable of doing whatever you want to do with it you know and the price is right so the next one I want to get I want to get a milling machine for doing my other hobby projects uh, I'm not going to tell you because it does, it's not really relevant to the channel here but but uh, yeah so a really good piece of machinery for the shop if you're making pins and stuff for your machinery or doing other projects uh, this is definitely a good good apparatus so the price is always good and believe it or not when I bought this lathe, uh, I've had it now for, I don't know, four years? Yeah, four years I've had it now. And when I bought it, it um, the price on this this lathe was 700 bucks. I bought the same lathe now for about maybe 1200 That's how much everything's gone up in price. And when I bought this lathe originally, I could have got the both the, uh, the, uh, the mini milling machine and the lathe for 1400 bucks. Because it had a package deal, right? I did pretty well. I don't need the mini. I don't need the milling machine, but <laughs> I built that one there, but that's not very good. <laughs> so, but um, this is a good. This is a good machine. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry for posting up bring very many videos on the farm and stuff here. There's really nothing going on, really. Um, just nothing going on. <laughs> when we get more, I'll be you guys right back. Thanks for watching. See ya.